we have three different ultimate strength design conditions for beams. The first one is under reinforced beam. The second one is balanced beam. And the third one is over reinforced beam. As you can see, the difference between these three conditions is related to the amount of tensile reinforcement we have in the section. Now let's look at the first condition, which is under reinforced beam. In this case, a steel ratio is low, and so the tensile reinforcement will yield prior to crushing of the concrete. In this case, beam will behave in a ductile manner. And the reason for that is once the steel has yielded, it continues to elongate rapidly. Since this occurs before crushing of the concrete and hence the beam failure, beam deflection can be observed while the beam is still able to carry the applied load. The exaggerated beam deflection gives warning of impending failure and the ductile behavior allows a redistribution of moments in indeterministic structures. We can also see similar plastic behavior in steel structures. The second condition, which is balanced beam, is basically simultaneous yielding of tensile reinforcement and crushing of the concrete. This is an idealized method and is a condition to differentiate between under and over reinforced beams. The second condition, which was over reinforced beams, is related to heavily reinforced sections. Over reinforced beams will have brittle failures since concrete as a brittle material crushes while the reinforcement is still in its elastic stress range. These types of beams give no warning of failure, which is sudden and catastrophic. While over reinforced beams are stronger, there are no advantages in designing these beams. The reason for that is that the building codes will impose certain design penalties to avoid having this kind of uh, failure. We will talk about these restrictions in the next sections along with some working examples. Also, we will uh, go through detailed process of checking each condition followed by working examples. In the ultimate strain theory or plastic analysis, we make a few assumptions. The first one is that all the concrete in the tension side of neutral axis is cracked and does not contribute to the moment capacity of the beam. So we are basically saying all the concrete below the neutral axis does not exist. The second um, assumption is that the strain diagram is linear, like what is shown here. So the strain is directly proportional to the distance from the neutral axis for all moments up to and including the ultimate bending moment. So as you can see, a strain is increasing further away from neutral axis. The third assumption is that concrete has crushed when the maximum strain in the concrete section has reached the value of 0 0.003. So we are basically talking about this strain and modulus of elasticity of the steel reinforcement is 2 times 10 to the power of 5 MPa. 